tracking people who have tested positive for COVID-19. The practice about to get some much needed help. Today, Maricopa County Health Department laying out their plans to boost what's called contact tracing. This is all to potentially slow or even stop the spread of coronavirus. As our Adam Waltz explains, the practice isn't new. Yeah, Katie, so contact tracing is pretty standard. You basically find out who has the virus and then where they've been and who they've been in contact with. Maricopa County, they're going to ramp up the number of inspectors, and that's thanks to a big $400 million Maricopa County received from the government's CARES Act. Now, right now, the county has about 25 health inspectors, and their job is to, when they find out who has a positive case of COVID-19, they trace them, talk to them, interview them to find out exactly who and where those positive COVID patients have been and who like in contact, who they've been in contact with. Now, Maricopa P County public health officials say they plan to increase their staff to keep pace with the amount of cases. We're currently working on scaling up our capacity from where we are now to eight to 10 times that capacity. And if you're sitting there thinking that you'll be able to pull up on an app and see if a COVID-19 patient had visited your local grocery store, that is not how this works. This data is collected and it's brought together for health officials and government officials to help and aid in their decision making. In downtown Phoenix, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.